including Singapore Airlines like SP. What's up everyone? I'm finally back from my two weeks holiday. Apologies, I haven't really done much any activity in YouTube. I've stuffed up. Uh, there's a couple of things still. Okay, I look like crap. Anyway, it's um, 6.30 a.m. in the morning. Haven't had much sleep, so I'm just gonna freshen up and then I'll explain to you all what exactly happened over the last two weeks. And I do have a very important information that I wanna share with you all. And so I, I'm doing this vlog straight away once I've landed here. So, so stay tuned. I'll be right back. Let me just clean my face up and everything. Okay, this is looking a lot better. Showered now, everything. I feel a lot more refreshed. Anyway, so back from my two weeks holiday, I went to the Philippines. I stayed in Manila and I also went to Hong Kong. And during that two weeks, I was planning to, you know, upload some content, publish those videos, yada, yada, yada. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. I underestimated the internet connection that I've got in the Philippines. The Wi-Fi network internet connection there, well, in the place where I'm staying, they're pretty bad. It's slow, it's sloppy, keeps, you know, disconnecting every time I try to connect and upload and stuff and you know what it was a mess I've got a plan the last two weeks to upload content and publish them but unfortunately that didn't work out and also when I went to Hong Kong by the time I got back I got sick very sick actually so just recovered obviously just in time to fly back home I didn't really do much anything in there but to reflect on a lot of things I'll focus on what's primarily what I'm gonna be focusing on 2018 this year with regards to my YouTube channel so there's definitely a lot of thinking and reflecting of what am I gonna do but before I go through that uh, details about about where this channel is gonna go this year let's wind it back uh, when I was in Hong Kong I went to the DJI flagship store there okay I'm finally here DJI store is at the back <laughs> and I met you know one of the sales consultants so and we had a brief chat you know just about this you know sorry before I forget, I'll, I'll be editing and uploading my time in Hong Kong, so so watch that space. However, uh, when I was there, I had a chat with a sales consultant. We talked about a lot of things, you know, the current products and, and, and what are some of the future products. Now, I didn't realize that DJI has announced a couple of new products, and I believe there is one big announcement happening 23rd of January regarding a new drone, which I believe they've um, created a video or a teaser or trailer about it. So before I go through the details of what we talked about, I'm just gonna quickly watch this um, announcement video. Hope and after that, I will talk about uh, what are my thoughts on the new drone and some of the new products that uh, DJI will be releasing this year. So hang on, hang tight. I'm just gonna watch it now. What are we? Atoms, Ooh, I like the uh, transitions. I'm getting goosebumps. There's a lot of earth and water. There's a lot of ants. Okay, so. That looks like a ver okay. It's definitely a new drone from you know how they taste bits and pieces in there. It's definitely a new drone. Okay, New York, January 23rd, 2018, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's when they get announced a new drone. With regards to DJI's new products, now I know they've announced the DJI Tello, which is a toy drone similar to the SEMA drone that I've got. You know, it can do black flips, 720p camera, etc. So that's one of the newer drones that they're gonna release based on the beginner toy children sort of demographics. The other products that they've announced is the Osmo, Mo Osmo Mobile 2, which is a, sm a smaller, uh, cheaper version of the Osmo Mobile. I know those are two new products that's been announced and there's gonna be another follow-up product uh, which I suspect is gonna be a new drone. Now when I was there unfortunately the DJI Tello and the Osmo Mobile 2 it wasn't available for sale so but one when I did chat to the um, sales consultant they did mention there's gonna be a new drone uh, in terms of information behind it it's very very limited but from my base my discussion and and based on my own t theory DJI will be potentially a new sort of Mavic. Uh, it's not gonna be a Mavic 
I don't think it's going to be called Mavic Pro 2. Uh, there's talks about a Mavic Air that kind of sits between the Spark and the Mavic. So something in between that. It's going to be a compact drone, obviously. Potentially, it's going to shoot 4K. Well, not potentially. I hope it does 4K, 60 frames per second. And this is a big one. If they can do 30 minutes of flight time and the aperture can change. Now, so far, DJI drones, except for the higher end ones, aperture has always been fixed. You can't change it. Unlike the Inspire or Inspire 2, you can change the aperture, which makes a very big difference if you're shooting cinematic scenes. You know, you want to make sure that you know your shutter speeds double the frame rate. Can't really do that with the Mavic Pros and all the things unless you got a filter. So changing the aperture is gonna be a game changer. So moving on from DJI's new product announce it from my perspective uh, what I'm gonna do on this channel this year is definitely I want to be I want to continue to be consistent I want to continue to publish content week on week so you know that's my commitment there when I look back you know I really want to be selective in what I'm doing and I want to be able to educate create inspire motivate and express my passion towards you know drones cinematic shots cinematic filmmaking and tech products and everything so hopefully this year I'll be able to do that I want to continue to create engaging content to my audience to help them to become a better drone pilot those are something that I'm that I've started to think about and hopefully it'll come to fruition in the next couple of weeks months you know that's my goal for this year and definitely I want to grow my channel my audience so um, yeah thank you for all my subscribers so far um, just notice I've hit 200 subs i haven't had the chance to say thank you thank you so much yeah really looking forward for 2018 there's definitely a lot of challenges i know with the changes to the youtube algorithm look don't get me started with that one but you know i just want to be consistent i just want to continue to provide quality content to you all so yeah that's my goal for this year uh, be consistent particularly on the drone sort of side of things but yeah i'll be branching out on other things as well so uh, watch this space finally uh, before I end this vlog, I do have a lot of backlog of videos to edit, you know, so, so stay tuned. I'll definitely be publishing, you know, videos of my time in the Philippines as well as in Hong Kong. So, yeah, that's really about it for me. Still have to clean things up in here, you know, still have to unpack a couple more things, a couple more bags. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a like. I really appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel for more videos. Again, this is Dennis, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.